Hello, good afternoon. It's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's day is Sunday, the 7th of August, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. We've got CoreCoin BTC SegWit protocol with a fundamental uh, value of zero, currently with a speculative price of $23,149. That's going to hurt. B Crash $141. Who cares? Fisher Price Cash. What a joke. And then we've got Bitcoin, the original protocol. It goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. And a digital commodity network can only be created with these five principal constructs in place. And there is a fixed supply, a locked protocol, infinite scale, economic competition in the form of proof of work and a chain of digital signatures for common accountability. Only in place on the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin that now has the ticker symbol BSV. Oh yeah, here we go. Right, so the most valuable commodity on earth Yours today for just $62. <laughs> Hash rate 0 0.02. Let's have a quick look at that. Oh, it's still steady. That's all right. That'll do nicely. Uh, network knows 0.47. Transactions 93.7. Uh, Back in the 90s. We're loving that. Block size 98.5. Remember, these are data management networks. No data, no use case. These are BTC, Bcrash, Fisher Price Cash. They are ghost chains. The data is the amount of data being uploaded onto the network. The, the data is uploaded by the transactions. The transactions are processed by the nodes. The nodes will create blocks and supply the hash rate. And the hash rate is attracted to the value, which is meant to be representative of the price. But the price is currently speculative because douchebags don't have a clue what Bitcoin really is. But when education catches up with speculation, BTC will go to zero. Bcrash will go to zero. Fisher Price Cash will go to zero. And BSV, well, you just simply work out the size of the financial markets that it could take. Oh, yes, indeed. And remember, just like uh, in business, when uh, turnover is vanity and profit is sanity, when it comes to Bitcoin, hash rate is vanity and block size is sanity. Let's have a look at the block sizes coming through. We've got a 1.1 gigabyte block uh, within the first 30 blocks. Loving that. Yeah, great sizes there. Loving that. Uh, hash rate, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Uh, remember, if something is useless, it is worthless. It's as simple as that. Proof of work by network again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin, which is BSV. Uh, it's currently 7,651 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin. Oh, it's currently 5% more profitable to mine on SV. We'll take that. Uh, daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Transactions by network. Bitcoin smashing it. Transactions per block. Bitcoin smashing it. Uh, fees, look at that. Bitcoin smashing it. Fees to Toshi's Bitcoin smashing it. My goodness me. And here we go. Fee to block reward ratio. So remember, the red line there will eventually be representative of the solid blue line here. As the block award gets cut in half over 210,000 blocks, the block fee will eventually surpass the block award, and then we have an economically self-sustaining system. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let's have a look. Uh, daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Well, we have 4.96 last time I looked at this. This might be five by now. Where are we? Oh, 4.97. That's all right. That'll do. I think other miners has been uh, scooping up small blocks, but that'll do. That'll do. Um, let's continue then on to hash rate. Global hash rate, seven days. Uh, Foundry, F2 pool and ant pool. Global hash rate, 24 hours. Ant pool leading the charge there. Uh, but again, yeah, we'll see where that is. Uh, CoolCoin BTC, yeah, ant pool mining BTC. Oh dear, oh dear. Look, Binance on there as well. Foundry, yeah, USA pool, F2 pool. All mining the SegWit protocol that's only been around since the 24th of August 2017. Oh dear, you know, you should be following the protocol, not the ticker symbol. Gonna learn the hard way. Schoolboy error. Uh, B crash, all oh, the other miners on there with 38.19%. Let's have a look at the profitability. It's nearly always profitable to mine on BTC. Yep, there we go. 0.4%, always more profitable to mine there. Uh, just want to keep them distracted, keep them mining this shitcoin. 
uh, while it gets the uh, the other companies who are mining the genuine Bitcoin getting wealthier and wealthier as they are uh, accumulating uh, BSV, the genuine Bitcoin. Fisher Price Cash Hathor on there, keeping profitability at bay. This is Bitcoin, though. This is the one you want. Good read, the, the most valuable commodity on earth. And we've got SBR Crypto with 34.7, Tower 25.6, SV Pool 16.6, and other miners with 22.92. Looking very good there. So the reason we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain is because the only thing they understand is dollar worshipping, which leads on to price manipulation, which we will look at now in the short positions. So we got we got Bitcoin with short ratio of, oh, it's, it's actually coming down. Look at that. It used to be sort of uh, um, in the 90s. Now it's uh, 89.05. It's coming down slowly, but, you know, dirty traders going to get shat on. And uh, Segwit Protocol only been around for like five years, and yet traders are giving only a short ratio of just 1.6. Good grief, that should have a short ratio of nearly 100, because it's an absolute bag of crap. Uh, BINFO charts, look at this. So Bitcoin now with 51.3% of the overall transactions on the entire market, leaving XRP with 20.5 and Ethereum with just 19.8. Look at that. There's no comparison. We've had 2.9 million transactions over the last 24 hours. Very good. For any newbies wondering what uh, mining operations and nodes look like, these are they. Nodes create blocks. They process transactions. They supply their hash rate. And this here that we're looking at is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet. Blows my mind every time. Chainlytics, look at this. They've removed Bitcoin just so they can display all these shit coins here because these shit coins are utterly embarrassed by the genuine Bitcoin when you're looking at the figures. And you can see that here on Coin Carbon Cap. Look at this Bitcoin. 8,320 transactions per megawatt hour in comparison to second place B crash with just 35. What a joke. And this dirty Segwit protocol, just 1.3 transactions per megawatt hour in comparison to Bitcoin with 8,320. Good grief. Scaling test network, we've had a 1.1 gigabyte block mined on the main net. It says here a uh, chain size 5.4 terabytes. Uh, I think um, Coindance might be a little bit behind. Let's have a look at protocols. Seven days, uh, daily data size, Metro ID producing 5.9. That's gone down a little bit. Uh, dipped off. And then transactions run protocol 1.2 million on a seven day moving average. Let's have a look at applications here quickly over seven days. Looks like we had a spike that came down again. So CryptoFi is now with 1.2 million transactions on a seven-day moving average. My two cents with 81,000. Vinex, 80,000. Relaysia, 37,000. I mean, great to see these apps coming through. It won't take long before the entire world is using it after following the, uh, after having the uh, value proposition demonstrated to them. Um, Trends.cash, so apps ranking by performed actions. Uh, yeah, my two cents in third with Run and Crypto Fights, first and second. Apps ranking by money spent, though, TDXP and DXS, one and the same, followed by uh, RelayX in third. My goodness me. Crypto Quant, then let's have a look at this just quickly. Yep, the exchanges are cashing out even further, as I would too if I was holding that shit coin. Water on chain, we've got 528 pet ashes per second. We've had 3.1 million transactions over the last 24 hours. The whale wallet, yep, last, move, last movement was the uh, 21st of July. Come on, Mr. Whale, if we get that up to a million, that would be amazing. This has got to be the largest privately held wallet in history. Absolutely massive. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, the morning run, so we've had 2,968,497 uh, purchases over the last 24 hours. Very good. Live coin watch, so we've got a current market cap of uh, 926 billion. Just dip below a trillion. And uh, cool coin BTC vol trade volume just 2.07. Price trending sideways uh, over the week there. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Let's have a look at coins then. So, uh, yeah, oh, let we, so we've got uh, three stable coins in the top seven. What a joke. And then we've got Bitcoin. Where are we? Here we go. Number 47, yours for just 51 quid. Which in US dollars is about 62, $62. Uh, so price just bobbing up and down over the last 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, same with the week. Uh, you got trade volume 1.97. You got $2.5 million worth of bids versus 1.8 million asks. Price on its way up. Very good. Uh, BSV breakdown. So in terms of volume, we've got uh, uh, Mex Global followed by Huobi Global and then Bitmax. And then in terms of liquidity, Changely has got the most followed by Bitfinex and HitBTC and the Huobi Global. Interesting. 
and uh, coin desk yes yeah, so we've got a price here of currently sixty two dollars and eleven cents big numbers there loving that uh, $62.05 according to CoinGecko. How are we feeling? 94% will take that. Uh, the tether weather, let's have a quick look at this. So it's in the green over 24 hours. Uh, it's in the red over seven days though, but it's still holding its peg. Won't for long though. Uh, market cap, so no, uh, nothing much over the last 24 hours. But look at that, more tether printing over the last seven days. Oh dear, oh dear. Trying to keep BTC relevant because nobody's using it. Uh, Bitrex, look at that. So the price spiked at $47. Look, the price trying to break out. It is being artificially suppressed. Uh, let's have a look at uh, uh, Bitcoin versus CoreCoin. Oh, doing nicely over uh, the, the 30 minute time frame. And oh, looking good over, uh, over the last few weeks from the 21st of uh, July to where we are now. That's looking very good. Look at, cool, look at that price spike. That was uh, quite significant. Let's have a look at CoreCoin versus USD. Yeah, just sort of trending sideways. Coinbase Global down 72% from when it was first released. MicroStrategy, all that, uh, again, just speculators getting in the market down 42% year to date. Uh, Silverfish Movie, we've had 5,211 views. That is massive. So we'll remember I've time stamped all the various different sections of the movie there. So have a good watch of that today to find out what is going on in the world uh, in the, uh, currently. Um, there we go for 11 minute show. We'll leave you there. Hope you enjoyed it as ever. Be aware, take care, stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next one.